Food Safety Modernization Act, written in 2011, signed off on in 2011, started the whole process that has now ended in developing a produce safety regulation. I'll give FDA credit for having spent a lot of time working with farmers, going out and visiting to see what the best way to regulate fresh produce would be. Now we have a final rule, and it's important for everyone who's covered under that rule, growers and some packers, to understand what those requirements are and to be in compliance. The official compliance date isn't until 2018, but I won't wait. I would, I would advise everyone to understand what those regulations are, what their practices are, what practices are required, and who is covered by that regulation, and then get in compliance as quickly as possible. There are training opportunities available under the Produce Safety Alliance. There are opportunities to ask technical and regulatory questions, both from FDA and from the Produce Safety Alliance. And if you have those questions, I suggest going out and asking them now. Your trade associations are also another great resource for getting questions as to what you need to do. The good news is if you're already being audited by one of the credible audit organizations, chances are you're already in compliance. Because FDA didn't put a lot into here that would be different from what those audit organizations are already requiring you to do. But with that, I advise getting to know what the regulations are, what the requirements are, and getting in compliance as soon as you can.